Grade 3 Math, Lesson 21. Combine place values to subtract. Sometimes when you're subtracting and you need to borrow, it's easier to combine place values. Look at this number, 431 minus 227. If we combine these two place values, we have 31 take away 27. 31 take away 27, if we count up, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, we get 4. The difference is 4. So we know 31 minus 27 is 4. We put the 4 in the 1's place, and we just automatically put a 0 in the 10's place. Then we can subtract the 100's. We get 204. Let's try it again with a different one. 533 minus 128. We're going to combine the tens and ones together so that we have 33 take away 28. Can you count up from 28 to 33 to see what the difference is between these two? 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33. 5. So, we put our 5 down in the 1's column, we put a 0 automatically in the 10's column, and then we just subtract the 100's. 5 take away 1 is 4. It's a lot quicker than borrowing, don't you think? Let's try another one. We have 513 minus 482. Now, in this one, it's not the 1's column that is hard to do, it's the 100's and the 10's column. Do you see the problem here? 51 minus 48? We can easily do 3 take away 2 is 1. But 51 take away 48, you wouldn't want to have to borrow from the 5 to give it to the 1, then do the subtraction. It'd be a lot quicker to just say 48, 49, 50, 51, 3. And because there's no other place here, we could write a 0, but it's not necessary. The answer is just 31. It's a lot faster than borrowing. Let's take a look at this one. This is a special one. We've got 3, and we need to take it from 0. But the thing is, we've got another 0 here, so what do we do? We'd have to take it from the 5. The quickest way to do it, in fact, this should be 499. The quickest way to do it, in fact, it's not. The quickest way to do this, I'm sorry, is to cross off the 50 and make it the next smallest number, 49. See? We crossed off the entire 50, not just the 0. And the next smallest number from 50 would be 49. That way, when the 0 borrows 1, it borrowed it from the 50, not from just the 0 or the 5. It borrowed 1 from the 50, so the 50 became a 49. See? Now you can say 10 take away 3 is 7, 9 take away 7 is 2, and 4 take away 2 is 2. Let's try it again, but with a bigger number. 4,000 minus 186. Well, you can't have 0 and take 6 away, but we have nothing to borrow from. That's 0, and that's a 0. It's way over here. So the best thing to do is you say to yourself, I need to turn this one into a 10. So that means this one is going to turn into 399. Because 399 is just one smaller than 400, isn't it? So we cross off the entire thing and turn it into 399, and then that one, last one becomes a 10. Now we can do it. 10 take away 6 is 4, 9 take away 8 is 1, 9 take away 1 is 8, and 3 take away none is 3. And don't forget your comma because we've got a thousands place. That's the quickest way to borrow when you've got lots of zeros. Just cross off the whole number and turn it into the one less. This 4,000 becomes 399 with a 10 at the end. This 500 became a 49 with a 10 at the end. And even these numbers, you can see which one is to be grouped 
by what needs to be borrowed. In this one, we grouped the tens and hundreds place, but in this one, we grouped the ones and tens place because three was too little to have eight take away from it, and one was too little to have eight taken away from it. So it's very easy to combine place values. It's a quicker way to do it than to borrow or regroup, and it'll help you do your math a little faster. Try it on a couple problems that have borrowing and see how that works. But make sure you know which one you're going to circle to combine. See you next lesson.